All right, guys, Justin Russell. Josh Schneider. Here from RussellMarineProducts.com with another comparison video. We've got the new Lowrance 3-in-1 HD versus the good old tried and true Humminbird MSI Plus. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so we're going to idle past a marina here and a brush pile, do a comparison between the two here, and just talk about what we're seeing here. I really can, uh, would like to know what you guys think of the differences between here. Again, we're running all auto settings here. We're running a pro unit with this uh, Lowrance 3-in-1 HD, and we're running an Apex yep. with the Mega SI Plus unit here. One of the things I, I do want to say, I messed up again. I did this in our Mega Live versus our other comparison videos. We are about 40 feet further out on the Humminbird MSI, so we're a little stretched on the yeah. Humminbird MSI on that as well. And to clarify, why that is, is because we run things in auto settings, so the auto setting on the MSI Plus was 100, 100 feet. feet. <laughs> um, the auto setting on the 3N1 HD was at 60 feet. And um, you'll see that adjust yeah. on the Lowrance side a Based little bit. Depth. The Humminbird does not, so yeah. just caveat to that. So let's get started. All right, as we're coming up here on the dock system, you can see some anchors. You can, you're going to see some cables coming out and play mm -hmm. here. Really, really good definition on both of them here. We're kind of scrolling yeah. up here, see where our anchor line's coming up. The anchor lines seem to be a little bit hotter on the HD yeah. versus the Mega SI Plus, the MSI Plus. But again, we're a little further out. There's good target separation here yeah, on, on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, there's really good target separation on both. It's odd. I'm trying to track and make sure it's so. The same place, here's but. here's the truss system coming up here on the Humminbird SI because you can see the huge shadow here for the truss. We don't have the shadow effect coming on the truss over here with the HD. But again, you can see again the cable system is a lot brighter on the HD versus the MSI Plus. I will say this too. Within that clutter, we're seeing some individual bait fish more than what we're seeing on the hummingbird yeah but further out we're seeing good target separation now i'm going to say crop this in and say all right in the 75 foot range and begin we're starting to see that out here too right so yeah, really we're close. seeing really really good target separation maybe on the bank though if you notice we're getting better target separation on the lawrence hd but it's interesting to see you know, the bottom definition yes. uh, on the MSI Plus and on the HD are both really, really solid. But the one thing that sticks out to me is like actually in the water column. Yeah. Seeing a lot more information on the HD than the MSI Plus as far as up in the water column. And what he means by in the water column, guys, we're talking about the black area yeah. between yeah. the bottom and where the lines are in the middle for the boat, right? Yeah. Again, I would surmise this as Lowrance probably isn't as filtered as much on auto settings like the Humminbird is, again, right. because we're seeing just a lot more stuff in the Lowrance HD in right. that water column, if they're not in the MSI. But man, we're getting out here on this underwater point. That's good yeah, definition really on the Humminbird for yeah. sure. But I mean, look at the Lowrance one and we're catching up here on scroll speed stuff. Yeah, it's really solid on both. Um, a lot of, you know, to your eyes too, the, some of you guys, whether it's you know side imaging, down imaging, whatever, some people like to have everything set up where you don't get a lot of background, right? right. And it's super clarity. Some guys like more background because you're getting more detail, even though it's a little harder to pick it out sometimes once 100%. you get used to it. So it just kind of... It's like our forward-facing sonar, yeah. LBS 32 versus 34. I'm going to pause yeah, this right pile. here. We're on the brush pile, okay? Mm -hmm. And we're 60 foot versus 100 foot out. We know that would be different. But one of the things I do want to point out again, even looking at the cable system again, right? We're seeing the cable definition better on the HD version versus the MSI Plus. And also, too, we're seeing those tree branches there on the Lowrance HD versus as the MSI Plus the as water. they come into yeah. that water column, which, again, is third time mm -hmm. talking about. It's a really big deal for a lot of people to have that understanding, right? So, again, super, super close, guys. Yeah. I'm going to go out as far as say this. 
Everything that we've done this past year on comparison, we're getting closer and closer to each other, right? Everything. Yeah. So at this point, <laughs> like what I surmise and say, like, what are you really looking for? Is what, what matters to you as a fisherman? Mm -hmm. So if it's forward facing sonar, you need to go with this unit and you're going to get all these benefits too, right? If right. side imaging is it, look at these comparison bits, which one looked better to you? Because we've had this debate too. You like different color palettes than what I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ours are, ours are different, right? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Just seeing things a little differently. 100%. So you guys may be able to pick up stuff. You know, when we first started doing these comparison videos years and years ago, there was a very clear winner in oh, every yeah. single one. Yeah. Like like massive gaps between big them. gaps yeah in, we're Where not, individual brands we were seeing as really standouts in a single segment se yeah a single thing like really good trolling motor really good forward facing sonar really good side imaging mapping so on and so forth right everything's just really leveling out and leveling out at a high level which is cool no for it's amazing yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i mean instead of being like this is a funny thing because we we talk to a lot of pros about this stuff too the, the difference at the pro level is that 1% that they're seeing differently, right? right. Whether it's forward-facing sonar mapping, GPS, 2D sonar, side right. imaging, down imaging, all that really, really matters to them. You know, again, going back to this video work, we used to see 20 30% gaps in yeah. stuff, yeah. and now we're talking single percentage betterment, if you mm -hmm. will, and again, it depends on the color palette. It can, depends on you as a person as well, too. I will say that I think the Lowrance HD is just a little bit better on certain things when it comes to it. Does it mean the Hummingbird's bad? No. Ooh. Like, that's been the standalone for 20 some odd years now. Yeah, the uh, Hummingbird side imaging has been the benchmark yeah. for a long time. And yeah. it, this is not saying it's not. Like, it's very, very good. Yeah, it's awesome. But it, it's interesting to see. Yeah, the, the catch up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 100%. All right, guys, we got more comparison videos coming your way, so be sure to stay here, check them out. They're coming up next. See you guys next time. Are you tired of your old marine electronics? At RP, we make trade in easy. Three steps. Step one, shoot us an email, get a quote. Step two, send us your old unit and get credit. Step three, get your brand new unit and get it installed on your boat today.